Hi, this is John Lee of DarthFurby.blogspot.com, and in today's video we're going to learn how to divide a circle into equal parts in perspective using freehand construction techniques. No protractors, no compasses, no rulers, no tools of any kind necessary. This can all be done by hand. So the first thing we're going to do is draw out a square to help us construct our circle. And if you want to learn how to draw a circle in perspective, I highly recommend watching my 12-point construction to circle construction tutorial that I uploaded on a in a previous YouTube video. I'm not going to repeat that process here. I'm just going to pretend that we used our 12-point construction technique to already build our circle within this square. Just using the computer to cheat a little bit here. I just want to cut right to the chase into discussing how you would divide a circle into equal parts. So using the um, square to help build your circle, it already automatically divides your circle into eight equal parts. And in this case, I just want to focus on cutting this let's pretend the circle is a pizza, cutting this pizza into four equal slices. And uh, I want to bring your attention to these highlighted red lines here, which make up four slices. And each slice, if you cut a pizza into four slices, equal size slices, each slice is at a 90 degree angle. And just to go over a little basic geometry, a circle is a point that's drawn 360 degrees around a center. So if you want to divide a pizza into equal slices, you divide the number of slices into 360 degrees. Let's pretend we want to um, divide this pizza into three equal slices. So 3 into 360 gives us 120 degrees per slice. So how would we figure out how to calculate a 120 degree slice? Well, what you do is divide one of these smaller squares in half, like so. And if you, let me just change the color here. If you draw a diagonal from the resulting rectangle, like so, you now have one slice that is 120 degrees. This line here and this line here, which I'm going to focus, highlight in green, is 120 degrees total. Meaning that this triangle, the first triangle here, is actually a right triangle which is actually so this is 90 degrees this is a right triangle where when you have a right triangle where one side is two times larger than another side If you remember, we cut this line exactly in half, and this line is the exact same length as this line. That means you have a triangle that is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So this angle is 60 degrees because it's facing opposite the larger end, and this angle is 30 degrees, which is opposite the smaller end. 
And if you notice, 30 degrees, uh, 60 degrees is twice as large as 30 degrees. And, and it exactly matches this length, which is twice as large as this length. So this is automatically a 60, 30 degree triangle. So if this angle is 60 degrees, this means this angle is 30 degrees. And we know that this is a right triangle, which is 90 degrees. And 90 plus 30 gives you 120 degrees. And 120 degrees is exactly what we need to divide our pizza into three slices. So all you've got to do is repeat the process. I'm just going to divide the square at the bottom. And draw out the angle again. And it's the exact same thing that we just did. If I just highlight the final angles, we've now divided our pizza into three slices. So that means hmm, let me choose a different color. So let's focus on this angle, this angle, and this angle. There's our pizza cut up into three slices. This is 120 degrees. This is 120 degrees. And this is 120 degrees. So if you wanted to divide this pizza into 12 equal slices, well, all you've got to do is keep in mind that, we've already, that we already know how to divide, we already know how to calculate 30 degrees and 60 degree angles. So if you want to divide this into 12 equal slices, you divide 12 into 360, and you get 30 degrees. So since we already know how to construct the 30 degree angle, in this case, you divide the square in half, you draw a resultant diagonal, this angle becomes 30, this angle is 30, this angle is 30. You just repeat the process all the way around and eventually you'll have 12 equal slices. So <clears throat> this, is, this technique can be used in perspective to divide a circle into equal parts. There are other freehand circle dividing techniques that we can get into, but this one is uh, one that I haven't really seen talked about all that often. And I don't think I've seen it anywhere on the web. It's just something that uh, I just thought about the other day, um, thinking about basic geometry and how I could use that in, in an artistic, as an artistic method to um, problem solve certain situations like dividing a circle. Anyway, I hope this tutorial proved comprehensible. I'm not sure if I totally made sense, but if not, let me know. Um, otherwise, I hope this video gave you some ideas to uh, uh, figure out how to um, divide a circle in perspective. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.